Yeah, we're right now at uh, Logan and Colfax in downtown Denver. I'll give you a look right now. We're actually sawing the boards open right now. Uh, part, I should say, to be able to board up the Fork and Spoon Coffee Eatery and Bar here at Logan and Colfax. The owner is telling us that they want to make sure their property is secure and closed before the protesters move in. Right now, those protesters are heading east, uh, excuse me, west on Colfax. And so they're trying to get this all boarded up before sunfall, before uh, everyone else comes here. Can we grab a few uh, seconds with you real quick? Yeah. All right, what's, what's your first and last name? I'm Christopher Matranko. All right, what's your title here? I'm the owner of Fork and Spoon. All right, just explain to me, what are you guys doing out here right now? Right now, we're just boarding up. We have, last couple of nights, we had some couple blown out windows, a lot of graffiti. Uh, we're just trying to protect ourselves now, you know, because uh, I guess, it's going to be, it's going to get, you know, ugly later on today, like after after 8 o'clock when we're supposed to be in curfew. So let's look right behind you. Is it protesters like this that you guys are concerned yes. about? Yes, uh, for sure. They're going to be coming around here. And, you know, it gets it gets worse when the sun goes down. So we're just trying to protect ourselves. How much would you uh, guess the damage was to your building? Uh, right now, um, a couple, yeah, probably grand, probably $1,000, I would say, you know, the windows. If you had a message to people who are protesting and who may not intend to be peaceful tonight, what would that be? My message, you know, I believe in what they're doing, but there doesn't need to be violence to innocent people. You know, there are a lot of the innocent people who support these guys are the ones getting hurt here. And at the same time, you guys are just small business trying to stay out of the way. Yes, yes. I know you're busy right now. Go ahead and get back to work. We're going to go and uh, check this right now. Uh, Kathy, these protesters are now heading uh, south right now on Logan toward Colfax. Uh, I don't believe this is the group that we were following originally from the city park area. It's not the same leadership that's on it. But there are definitely hundreds of people now walking down uh, Logan. Kathy, go ahead. Kathy, uh, if you guys are still with us. Um, yeah, there's some uh, choice language right now. I can't hear you. CBS talks to They're not uh, nearly as peaceful or um, calm as what they were or, uh, the previous. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward where we can get away from those who are using some choice language right now. But at the same time, there's a lot of people out here who peacefully want to get their point across. Others are taking a little more anger out with the choice of words and their intentions. But this group right here is not the group that started at City Park. This is a different group that's now turning off of Logan to start heading south. I'm um, excuse me, west toward the Capitol building, uh, different signs and all that type of stuff. We do not know exactly what happened to the group that we were originally with who wanted to avoid the type of language and the type of uh, commentary that may be going on with other groups. Uh, they too are heading toward the Capitol and they specifically told us they are going to try and avoid that type of uh, nature. So once again, we are at the intersection of Logan and Colfax right now, people turning in the groups of hundreds, possibly even thousands, heading towards downtown Denver on Colfax Avenue. Some people holding signs, others honking their horns as they drive by Kathy. And once again, as we just showed you guys, businesses working quickly to board up their windows in hope of avoiding any of the damage which we have seen at other businesses and throughout other cities as well throughout this entire ordeal.